I want to share five possible tips to help to decrease or prevent delayed onset muscle soreness, or known as DOMS, D-O-M-S. I'm Dr. David, orthopedic surgeon, sports medicine specialist, and author of the book, That's Gotta Hurt, The Injuries That Changed Sports Forever. I provide education, information, and commentary on sports and exercise injuries, injury treatments, and injury prevention for athletes and active people so that you can stay healthy and perform your best. If you have ever lifted weights for the first time in a long time, maybe the first time ever, or maybe you've gone skiing and you haven't been skiing in a year or something like that, you probably know what DOMS or delayed onset muscle soreness is even if you don't know that term. This is that really difficult muscle soreness that comes on 24 and honestly even a little bit worse around 48 hours after the activity. It's really uncomfortable. So are there ways that you can actually prevent it or at least decrease its severity? There's a lot of theories about some different things that we're going to talk about. It's difficult because research, if you read the scientific studies, fails to definitively show that any one of them works, but there's a lot of variables that make it really hard to know for sure if they don't work. So at least I'll say, while I wouldn't promise you these are going to work, I would say they're at least worth trying if you work out really hard and want to try to limit your exposure to DOMS or delayed onset muscle soreness. All right, the first thing that I'll suggest is try a foam roller. Maybe right before the workout and again right after the workout, but you see these you know, cylinder foam things. Some of them have little projections to make them kind of rough. Basically do foam rolling treatments where you basically roll out uh, over the muscle groups you're gonna work. So if you're doing a low, lower body workout, make sure you do your calves, your hamstrings, your quads, maybe your adductors, hip flexors, IT band, that type of thing. Upper body, same types of things. A lot of times, if you're not sure exactly how to do it, you can go online look, looking for these exercises. You can talk to a personal trainer or a physical therapist, but that's something worth trying. Almost as much in a preventative sense as using it once to delayed onset muscle soreness has occurred. Another one that might be worth a try is to get a massage. You know, specifically if you can work with a massage therapist, that can be very helpful as well. When I was the doctor of a women's professional tennis tournament, that tournament, there were basically two or three massage therapists there every single day, basically working with the athletes after their practice sessions or after their matches to limit their muscle soreness and get them back competing. Maybe something worth trying for you as well. Another thing that might not be something that jumps to mind right away, but definitely works, or at least could make you feel better, you know, whether or not you get delayed onset muscle soreness and it goes away quicker, but that's trying ice or a cold pack, or the big thing now, trying the whole body cryotherapy chambers. Again, difficult to prove that that's definitely going to decrease the DOMS that you might feel or limit it or prevent it, but it's certainly worth trying. I think ice or a cold pack directly to the affected muscles, probably a little bit easier to do, but if you want to try those whole body cryotherapy tanks, because there's a lot of other purported benefits as well, maybe that could be good for you. The next one that I'll suggest, and it's something that I tried, uh, and for some reasons I thought it was helpful, and that is to wear compression clothing after your workout. And there's, you know, the main apparel companies make compression clothes, and then there's other companies that make these as well. But after your workout, you wear these for an hour. You can even you know, potentially sleep in them. That's what I tried. I, I work out at night, take a shower, put these on, and sleep through the night. The reason I gave it up was not because I didn't think it was helpful. It was just too hot for me, and I just it wasn't really my thing. But a lot of people say that's really helpful. A lot of pro athletes, I will tell you, do that as well, so it may be worth trying. The last thing I'll suggest, probably the simplest, is to give it time. Delayed onset muscle soreness will get better. It will go away. So it may be if it's your lower body that's really feeling it, maybe you give that a few days, two, three, four days to wear off, work other parts of your body, but know that it should get better. All right, do you have any other tips to share? Maybe you're a personal trainer or somebody that likes to lift weights a lot. I'd love to hear your suggestions. So below this video in the comment section, leave your thoughts so we can all learn from your experience. 
If you like videos like this and you want more information on sports and exercise injuries, injury treatments, and injury prevention, subscribe to my video channel. Click the subscribe button in the upper right corner of the page. I record several of these videos every single week and they'll get delivered directly to you. Thank you so much for watching. If you know somebody that works out a lot dealing with delayed onset muscle soreness, please share this video with him or her so they can learn as well. And I look forward to seeing you right here next time.